Welcome back. We cannot wait to see you next week. We are going to focus on the theme of patience, grace, and flexibility in this changing times. Come on in and we'll show you some of the things we've done to make the school a safe place for you. One of the first things you'll notice when you come into the school is that we have arrows directing you right to the office. Before you come into the office, of course, we want everybody wearing a mask, and you can also sanitize your hands. We also have a sign-in sheet here as we need to keep track of all the guests that come into the building. And you'll see that Mrs. Ellis has a shield in front of her, and Mrs. Lang is distance enough that she's safe back there. We have arrows with different colors tape on the floor so you know exactly where to walk and we can maintain our social distance. Our lockers have all been color coded so that when you are dismissed there will be enough space so that people can comfortably get their things. And you'll also notice that we have no furniture in our hallways anymore because we won't have anybody working out in the hallways. You'll notice that we have new washroom procedures. We are only going to allow two people in the washrooms at a time. Every classroom has a designated washroom that they will be expected to use. And every classroom will have bathroom passes that you will use and when you're coming to the washroom you will hang it up. If there are two bathroom passes on this, these hooks, then you will just have to wait outside until somebody comes out. so that nobody is using them. Fortunately, we have water filling stations. This one is touchless, and we have two others in the school where you will have hand sanitizer nearby so you can sanitize your hands before you press the button. And we wanna strongly encourage everybody to please bring a water bottle from home. So we're in the library with Mrs. Lavette, our library assistant. This fall, we are not going to be using the library at this time. Instead, books are going to be delivered to your classroom. So Mrs. Lebeck will be helping the teachers gather books and you'll get them in your classroom to choose instead. On your first day of school you will see that we have lineups made for all classes and there's two spots for both for all classes your teachers are showing you how you will stand because of course you will need to stay socially distanced then when you're done and you're ready to come in your teachers are going to show you what will happen when you come in welcome hello Bonjour. For grade 4B, 4L, 5Z, 5H, 8D, and 6NW, your lineup looks a little different. You guys will line up on opposite sides. So you can see how your teachers are standing there. And then when it's time to come in, your hands will be sprayed.
our pre-K to grade twos will enter on our south side. And you can see we have markings for every grade where you're going to stand and your teachers are standing on their spots. You will line up on two sides. And your teachers will be here to meet you on the opening days. Parents will not be allowed into the school. So parents can come on the playground and say goodbye, but we ask that you are wearing a mask and are socially distanced when you do so. Now they're gonna show you, when you come in, your hands will be sprayed. entrance for this school year. So Mrs. Campbell's class will line up going this way and Mr. Ricksett's class will line up going towards the fence. Once everybody's lined up, your teachers will call you in and you will have your hands sprayed with hand sanitizer. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Verity's pre-k classroom. Hi I'm Mrs. Verity. I am so looking forward to seeing all the kids. See you soon. This is kindergarten KC with Mrs. Campbell. Hi looking forward to seeing you. And this is our new kindergarten room this year. Mr. Reset is our kindergarten teacher in this classroom. And this is room 1D with Mrs. Vidowitz. This is 1-2-T with Mrs. Turnbull. Hey Bears, welcome back, can't wait to see you guys. This is Mrs. Namath's classroom, 2N. Hi, grade two, can't wait to meet you. This is 2P, Mrs. Pascarook's room. Hi everyone. Welcome to 3C, this is Mrs. Trenenko's room. Hey Bears, welcome back, I can't wait to see you next week. This is Mrs. Everly's classroom, 3E. Hi guys, looking forward to seeing you. This is 4B, this is Mrs. Bird. Hello! And this is her intern, Ms. Martin. Hi. This is 4L, Mrs. Levers. Hi everyone, can't wait to meet you. So excited to see you in a few days. This is 5Z and this is Mrs. Zeiser. Hi everyone, welcome, can't wait to see you. And then next door we have Mrs. Holt in 5H. Hi guys, can't wait to see you next week. This is 6K, taught by Mrs. Kaufman. Hello everybody, can't wait to see you. This is 6MW, and this year we have two new staff members in this classroom, Ms. Morin and Mrs. Wilson. Hi. Hi. This is 7C, and Mr. Cohill will be teaching in this classroom. Hello everybody. This is 7 f taught by Mr. Forrester. Hey Bears, can't wait to see you again. This is 8D being taught by Miss Dory. This year, Miss Strombach is teaching grade three, four science and running LLI programs in the afternoon. Hi. This is Miss Tran. She is our ITC and she's also doing some prep coverage this year. Hi, Bears. This is Mrs. Coons. She is our new band teacher and she will be teaching band in the art room and the art room will be only used for band to start the school year. Hi, I look forward to meeting everyone at Cala Butte. This is our learning support team, Mrs. Park, Mrs. McPherson, Mrs. Stadnick, and Ms. Pepper. Welcome back. And of course, our staff wouldn't be complete without our amazing EA team. Hi, Hi guys. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Welcome back. Hi. pylons at this end of the street and pylons at that end of the street. There will be no through traffic allowed through this area from 8.15 till 9 o'clock and 3.15 till 4 o'clock.
We have asked bus drivers not to drop students off until 8.45 so that they can basically get off the bus, get in line and enter the school. This street is a drop-off and pick-up point for our K-2 students. And of course, you can have older students walk down here to meet you, but there is no parking on the other side of the street. So it is parking only along here. This is our pickup and drop off points for our grades three to eight students. You can see we'd ask families to drive into this lane and drive out. We strongly discourage families from calling their kids across the middle of the street. Please ensure they are using appropriate crosswalks, one at that end and at the very far corner. We hope this helps give you an idea of what you can expect when you come to school next week. We cannot wait to see our bears. See you soon. Thank you.